Uh, maybe one more question. So the grid thread extend in what you're showing at the moment, any mm. chance this can be a const expression because then the compilers could do auto uh, loop blocking even for this one here. If this is one or it's two and it's a compile time constant, the compiler will just do it. Uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's a good, that's a good um, question. So currently that's uh, like, if you look at number of blocks and um, number of threads per block, uh, so that's returns, returns from functions. So what we do internally is we redirect it to traits and in some cases we can do it const expert, but if you write it generically like that, I guess you can't rely on that. What we do in our like actual applications, sometimes it's really important that it's const expert, but in that case, it normally means that the kernel is maybe specialized for a particular case. So in that case, we could just explicitly pass it through template parameters of the kernel or the operator record. So sometimes we could just, so not do it through alpaca, but just do it through normal C++ means. Um, it, it just means that your kernel needs to be written so that it, well, it works for that kind of inputs. Uh, I guess this begs another more advanced question. So here we are talking about specializing at the time where the application is compiled, yes. but some GPU APIs allow you to specialize at the time where the uh, kernel is compiled, which is at runtime for most GPU API. They call that typically specialization constants or something like that. Uh, do you have this or plan to have this eventually? Do you mean uh, uh, the CUDA uh, grid launch uh, um, a macro uh, over a global kernel? I don't know how it looks in CUDA. I know how it looks in Vulkan, but that's not the same API. So uh, we, we don't have it in, in Alpaca. And also to the cost expression um, question, the, the the problem is uh, that that um, the the number of threads inside of a grid uh, is a runtime value, and that uh, is provided, for example, by CUDA by an, an magically global variable somewhere, which is uh, uh, given by the compiler, and we can't uh, uh, translate this to a const expression value, even if you call it from the host side, because uh, the host side call is not connected to the kernel itself, so we, we don't know that, that the kernel is maybe um, uh, called with, with a const expression value, um, so so we can't link this, and so we can't um, optimize at that point. Yeah, certainly. What I was discussing is something that the the programmer or the kernel would need to explicitly uh, expose somehow. I'm not sure what the API for that would look like. Um, I, currently, we don't have it, and maybe they will also say something in 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 pick in pick on GPU, for example. Uh, we uh, need to side channel this and give the const expression value then uh, um, via template parameter inside uh, to the kernel, and then use uh, this one instead of uh, the 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 API function from Alpaca, where we uh, asked for the uh, work division. But this is uh, really uh, tricky because this is giving the, the control fully to the user and the user need to take care that really all kernels then are called correctly. Uh, this is not easily uh, possible to build this as a generic concept. Yeah, so that's like also more or less what I tried to explain in the earlier answer that uh, like if you access stuff through Alpaca right API that is done for generic use, and of course, as we all know, unfortunately, achieving high performance sometimes means that at some point you actually need to stop being generic, generic and be particular. Um, and that's also what we do, like also in Pico GPU, that we write all the kernels generically, but there are some constructs that are just overloaded for CPUs and for GPUs separately. Uh, and these are namely this like parallel four structures and this kind of traversal structures. Yeah, and that some of them, yeah, we also have to give parameters explicitly for uh, yeah, to give this contextual values, et cetera, or, or like that for GP, we don't have a double loop, but we only have one loop, and for CP, we have a double uh, blocked loop. So it's just at some point we, yeah, so, so overall we have a generic workflow, at some point we just make a kernel that is not generic, that expects some more parameters, and maybe only work with some combinations of the parameters, and then we just rely yeah, that it, it plays a 
the caller of the kernel knows what they're doing. Um, while, while, but, but it's still, in our opinion, it's still an advantage because then the main rock base, uh, the main code base, and the main kernel base is still generic, and only like some smaller pieces are are specialized. Yeah, I agree. This is a good compromise. <laughs>